everybody, it's Jules Long Beach, and today's queer history lesson is about Sir Lady Java. Almost 50 years before RuPaul's Drag Race or Pose, Sir Lady Java was a pioneering transgender activist fighting against a Los Angeles law that restricted drag performance. Sir Lady Java was a dancer, singer, comedian, and drag performer who worked with Sammy Davis Jr. and Richard Pryor. She also spoke truth to power by challenging the Los Angeles police and the city itself. As a black gender non-conforming person, Sir Lady Java witnessed a point in history, the intersection of discriminatory law, not just against law enforcement tactics targeting black and brown communities, but also the queer community in Los Angeles. It was the 1960s. Born and raised in New Orleans, Sir Lady Java was a drag performer and waitress in the 1960s Los Angeles. But the LAPD put an end to her career. Passed in 1958, their notorious ordinance, Rule Number 9, said bar owners couldn't hire anyone who performed as the opposite sex to the one they were assigned at birth. For Sir Lady Java, the impacts of the law hit a fever pitch in 1967 at the Red Fox, a Black-owned nightclub named for its owner, renowned stand-up comedian and actor John Elroy Sanford, who was also known as Red Fox. He applied for a performance permit for Sir Lady Java, but the LAPD denied it. Later, Sir Lady Java protested at the Red Fox, arguing for her right to work. Sir Lady Java made history because she was the first person to not only protest the law, but challenge it in court. The ACLU sued the city of Los Angeles on her behalf, but the court refused to hear her case because only bar or club owners could file a lawsuit. The ACLU couldn't find a bar owner willing to sue the city, and she lost her case. Her protest did raise awareness and visibility about the issue, however, and two years later, the ordinance was overturned in a separate lawsuit. With the law overturned, Sir Lady Java returned to the stage and continued performing in Los Angeles nightclubs through the 1970s and early 80s. In 2021, Sir Lady Java's trailblazing efforts were recognized as the community grand marshal in the LA Pride Parade. Isn't that amazing? I sure learned a lot today. I've never heard of Sir Lady Java. Have you? Comment below and let us know. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Queer History Lessons with Jules from Pew Voice News. You can find me across the internet at Jules Long Beach. And of course, I hope you like and subscribe, maybe donate something to this amazing project as we learn queer history together.